Hey everyone, it's Kat and Amber, and we are Wandering Soup Black Lesbian Expats, and we are currently in Ho Chi Minh City or Saigon <laughs> in Vietnam. And for some reason, I'm stuck on saying Hanoi. We haven't been there in months, but we are getting ready to leave Vietnam for our next home away from. Well, no, I guess our home. Yeah, home, home. Because then where we go is home, right? Right. This is gonna be our next step on our journey. Who knows where it's gonna take us, but we're very, 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 very open. And with that being said, today we want to just talk about how we travel as a couple. Because uh, it's two adults making decisions about us on this life well, journey. An adult and an angel. Remember that. Well, I don't know where that came from, y'all. <laughs> Uh, we don't rehearse this because if we had rehearsed this, I would have said no, no, no. But anyway, so just a little bit of backstory about us. Um, we actually got together pretty quickly. We met in September, got married in March, and the next year we were on the road. Um, so it's pretty quick, but we're older. You know, we're not 21. You know, you can do it at 21 when we're wrong, but we're not 21. Um, we knew what we wanted. And we jumped, and here we are. And it's been interesting because not only did we learn how to travel, we also learned about each other. Sure. It's, it's been fascinating, if anything. It's truly been a journey. <laughs> well, I'm saying not just a physical journey, no. but a, a learning journey. Emotional. Yeah, everything. Mental yeah. and physical. Because, you know, both of us have our limitations in different ways. Mm -hmm. And we've had to adapt physically. That's been really interesting. Emotional, uh, in the sense that uh, being open, receiving, sharing the same small space every day. Yeah. Every day. I'm telling y'all. Every day. Every It'd be about to be an episode of Snap up in here. I'm just kidding. That <laughs> <laughs> don't hurt for it anyway. Hey. Anyway, so anyway, something happened to me, y'all. Ain't no happened to her because I'm a tired, so I'm too lazy to kill it. <laughs> and it's just sandwich schedule. You know, I just fix him a sandwich and go about my life. So, um, with that being said, again, we want to talk about how we travel as a couple. So, what we dis what happened in the journey is that we ended up splitting chores. Is that the easiest way to say it? Yeah, or yeah, splitting our responsibilities. Yes, right. So, we divide work. What that means is there are certain things that I'm responsible for and there are certain things that she's responsible for. And there's things that we meet on the middle or meet in the middle on. Mm -hmm. So the first thing that I'm responsible for is the, the heavy duty research. Not even because I like that stuff. Like I like to sit online for hours researching a new country, a new city, uh, rules and regulations, how we're going to get there, um, cost of living on the bigger side of things. Um, so that's what I do. I, I research the next destination. I research two generally. I research the cost of living for both. I research plane tickets, uh, visa fees, all those things. And then I bring it to Amber, who then decides where we're really going to go. Uh, and I give her my pros and cons and what I, I want to do this one. Uh, and she says, okay. And then she goes and does her research. And what research do you do? Uh, I look at food pictures. <laughs> See if I want to eat there. And yeah. if I do, then it's a, it's a, a, a up for me. Um, yeah, no, there's yeah, I me. Mean, I do do that. But um, once we decide, I'm usually very concerned about things like safety. I think more so than anybody, and um, and a, and accessibility to places where we can walk and be and feel unencumbered and feel and not feel accosted. So those are my main concerns. So when she says, hey, this is, I think this is a good place for us to go or possibly this, then those are things I'm looking for. I'm looking at, okay, but is it going to be safe? Can I go there and walk around and feel like we're going to be okay? And are there areas that are open? And because um, I like, you know, I like, I like, grass and I like areas to walk around. I need physical space. So usually I'm looking for certain things. Um, those things don't necessarily um, rule out the country altogether. It's not like it's like, oh no, we're not going to go there. 
but it's they're pretty big, and usually we discuss it, and right. then we decide what's best overall. Right. So. And even then, we have two options. We always start out with two, maybe three sometimes, but generally at least two. And I've done again as much research as I can before turning it over to her. And if she says I don't really want to do that, and this is X, Y, and Z, Y, then we're good because we still have the other alternative. And then, um, then I step back in again once we made our decision, and I book us our flights, pay for the visas, uh, or do paperwork and everything for the visas, and I do our initial stay at an Airbnb. Um, every time that Amber has led to talking to Airbnb, we have not been thrilled. Okay, so while we're thrilled. while we're going there, not been since we're going there. We've not we have been in an Airbnb that's not been the greatest that I didn't pick out. You did that. We, but we've also been in an Airbnb that is not the greatest that I didn't pick out. Don't believe that. So, but I'm just saying. I mean, but overall, overall, that is her strength. Yes, and so because I think you have to identify strengths and weaknesses right. if you're traveling with someone. That's really what it is, and it's not that that person gets to do all that, or they should get all the burden of it no. but you know you come together with your strengths and weaknesses after you've done both of your tasks and then you work together right. from that point um, and i like research yeah. amber does too but she just looks for different things than i do mm -hmm. i'm looking really at logistics in the sense and cost because i am I'm a, I'm a little bit cheaper than her i admit that so but i'm also thinking long term i'm a long-term planner and thinker yeah. and, and, and amber is that isn't her strong suit but that doesn't mean that it's bad. It actually means that when we get on the ground, Amber's much better than I am. So, and that's so once we book everything and we land, I then turn mostly everything over to her because at that point, she takes over. She gets us to the grocery stores. She researches our neighborhood, how we're going to walk, talk, what we're going to eat. She does a lot of that day to day living. Like, I don't like shopping, I, it hasn't changed since we moved. I don't like the people. I don't like the noise. But she's like, we're going to the grocery store. Today. Get it up. And I have my list. And then sometimes I say, hey, I got to go to the grocery store. I got to shop. And then sometimes I just give her a list and say, I'm just not in that energy space. Go to the grocery store and get us these things. And she's always going to the pharmacy. And she's always. <laughs> and she does different things. So Amber takes care of us on the ground. So our work is very evenly divided. Uh, if anything, you know, it's not, and it may appear that certain times the other person has more. They really don't because my part is at the beginning. Uh, she has the middle. We both have a living. You know, that's true. So that work it works out really well for us. Um, and then like we do tours and things like that. That's Amber's forte because she's gonna get us out the house every day. I'm quite content to find a really good couch and I'm good. But she's like, no, we're here. We're gonna get out. We're gonna see this beautiful country that we're in. This beautiful city. And so she makes sure that me and the boy in the room get out the house. I like the experience. Right. I do. The reason why we go out to coffee shops is because of Amber. You know, she has to get out of the house a little bit every day. She has to walk. She has to move her, move her body. And so she makes me move my body. We get up and we just do things. And so it's, it's real. It works for us. Right. And I think, you know, so traveling with someone is going to teach you a lot about them and a lot about your relationship. And obviously. you. Yes, and yourself. Right. So, and some people, you're going to find out that you just can't travel with. Right. But, and so that, that's a lesson in and of itself. Um, but if you, if you have, you know, if you're yoked, equally yoked, um, and you have chosen well, then and you're traveling together, then yeah, then it just, it pays to listen to that person, um, listen to their concerns, listen to their ideas, and give everyone... A platform right um for their thoughts and their opinions and go from there because usually everyone's gonna have that you know the things that they're good at and the, that they're not so that you can take advantage of it right right basically figure out what your strong point is and figure out what your partner's strong point is and then work it work whatever works for you you know um if you are the person who likes to do the research then do the research but but make sure you're doing the right research mm -hmm. Don't just be, I am a high head and I know everything. I concede. I've researched, I've done all this work, and I, I get attached to it, right? I'm like, oh, I'm right. Because I'm, and she goes, well, no, I don't like this, this, and this. I'm like, but I'm right, though. I, I, I. And then I go, no. There's two of us. There's actually three of us. 
And so she's looking at it really from all of our point of view. And I, I tend to look at it from the money today and the money we're going to have tomorrow. Right. That's true. And she looks at it from the money today and the family we have today and the space we need as a family today. Okay. But you got to look at both. You, you need to look both. at all of it. Yeah. You need both. And so we work well in that regard. We rarely have any issue when we're getting ready to decide on a new location. I don't know why. But, you know, and, and then I will make impromptu decisions, too. Like, we were in Da Nang, and I was like, we were at the point where we needed to decide if we are going to stay or move. We were actually in Hanoi, we did the same thing. And I just woke up one day and said, we're moving. We're, we're going. We wanted to do these things. Mm-hmm. And we had gotten caught up in the pandemic, and we had, you know, things were switching around. And I said, like, no, let's get back to our original plan, which was spend a certain amount of time here, a certain amount of time here, and we said, let's do it. So we did. Yeah. And she's like, I'm, you know, Amber's like, are you sure? And then we get there, we're like, you're right, babes, let's do this. But again, once we get on the ground, it's Amber's call. You know, she's, this is what she does for us as a family. So make sure we, you know, got our pharmacy for hits because we know we got to do our vitamins and, and stuff and vitamins and stuff. But yes, I find the things, things for us to do <laughs> wherever we are. And that's another thing is that you have to be like, respectful of like the person that you're with and their energy like if both of you don't want to go out if both of you aren't like a going out and hitting the streets type of person then you have to be okay with you know yeah you have to be okay with okay well that person's gonna go out and hit the streets that's what she wants to do and you have to be okay with the other person not necessarily wanting to do that and wanting to just chill right um so you know you but you but then there's a balance i mean i think we've We've been we good at, it. yeah, we found a balance. It's like, okay, there's some days where, you know, we're going to go out, and there's some days that, you know, that it's okay to just relax and not go out. Um, right. And then, the, and the thing is, I'm really the relaxer in the house. But there's a couple days a week I just don't want to do anything. This this is my journey, and this is what I want to do. Amber, on those days, decides what she wants to do. She can head up on her own. She can sit beside me. It's totally up to her. I have no ownership of that and she has no ownership of mine but i'll let her know in advance so that she doesn't have an issue you know what i'm saying right. like maybe in her mind she's decided that we're gonna do something the next day but i've made it in my mind i'm not so what i do is the night before i ever like tomorrow's gonna be my day <laughs> no, my well, lying no what day. you do is you say tomorrow i ain't going no way That's don't it. look at me right amber <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's what I did. Amber would have us out in the street every freaking day. And that's just not how, that's not, to me, that's not relaxing. That's not living. I don't want to roll every day. Amber could roll every freaking day. And that's her energy. And I'm so okay with it. I'll see you get back. You know? So she has her thing. She's happy. We're out seeing the, the, the city as a family. We did a touristy thing if necessary. Maybe we just went out to eat. But everybody's happy. And so we we found what we had to, you know, do that. Because it, it took us a minute. Don't get me wrong. We didn't walk up, right. wake up day one. It, it took us a couple of times of being irritated before we realized, hey, yeah, hey, you're irritating me <laughs> because I don't want to move every freaking day. We moved here. <laughs> We're now on vacation. We don't have five days. We have five months. I'm sitting here for a day, bro. So once we did that, it was it was love. You know, I think That's Cambodia true. was our, our testing ground for that. Mm-hmm. Uh, and it worked. It worked uh, a lot. And so from there, we, we did the rest of our journey. And it's, it's always worked. I just, we just don't have that issue. So you you got to be vocal. Is that a good? Yeah, I think that's maybe what we learned. Yeah. It's to be very, very vocal with mm-hmm. each other. Not just assuming, and not to say we we're perfect, because we're freaking not. Mm-hmm. But I learned to be very much more vocal about what I need, and Amber does the exact same thing. Um, and it's what well, I'm, I'm really. I've always been vocal. No, she's been complaining, which is not the same thing. She's like, she complains about that, but now we're vocal. And we're happy, <laughs> and that's the difference. <laughs> You were complete. No, you're both. That's, that's it. Totally different energy. Okay. I hear and receive. That's right. I, yes, I hear and receive, right? I see that. Before it was like, you're not, you're not. Mm-hmm. And now it's like, I need. Mm-hmm. 
and I hear I need right. versus you're not. Keywords. Yeah, true. So anyway, mm-hmm. whew, that was a lot. <laughs> but it's what's taking us and what we're really basically trying to share with you is that if you're going on this adventure with someone, um, talk beforehand. Figure out what you think you may need beforehand because it's going to change when you get there. But at least have that conversation. Figure out who is strong in some, who's strong in some way, who's right. strong in other, who's That's weak true. in other ways. Um, and, and work together. You're doing this together for a reason. Some things I feel like, though, you may not even know until you actually start on the journey. Like, you may not know how good you are at X, Y, Z until you, and you may not realize this person is really good at this. You know what I mean? So right. some things you may not even know until you get started, but I guess just be open to it. Right. That's really it. And open to switching. Positions. Yeah, that's true. You know, if if I feel like I'm not doing good at the logistics of it, I'm going to definitely step back and say, hey, I think maybe you need to take over for a little bit mm-hmm. and see how, see what the difference is. Um, but we haven't had that issue. So yeah. we're okay with it. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I think we're doing good. Yeah. You think we're doing a little better? I do. <laughs> I do. I do. We, we really, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's growing. It's a growing experience. I mean, I really, I, you know, I say all the time that this is really a spiritual journey for me um, also. So it definitely has been been that, and I take it as such. So everything is like, it's beautiful, really. Yeah. Um, yeah. I think we've grown and evolved a lot. A lot, a lot, baby. Mm-hmm. And I wish everyone who's seeking to do this, I, I wish you the best in your journey. I personally have experienced so much release. Uh, and we should actually do a video about that because it's just, I mm. mean, it's so freaking much. And the realizations that you have, the late night conversations that we have about things that we've released and grown from and, and that we're growing into because we've had the time and the space to do it. That's true. Um, and I'm not saying that this is a dream for everybody. It's not. It may not even be a dream that you're going to do forever. Um, but man, if you have it, go for it. At least for a year. Yeah. Six months or a year. Try it. You know? But, again, if you're with someone, right? talk about it. Figure out what you need, how you're going to go about doing it, and work on it every day. And plan. Check out our other videos. Yeah, because we get a lot of information. Oh, yeah. And I am Kat. And I'm Amber. Subscribe, like, share, follow, all those things. Comment below. About what you want us to talk about in our next video. Like and subscribe. Yep, yep, yep. We are Wondering Soup. We'll see you on the next video.